Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, welcome to another screencast on OpenShift. So, um, now, uh, what I want to show you is uh, uh, some of the kind of um, add-ons, uh, kind of miscellaneous um, use of the OpenShift platform. Uh, uh, I mean, we've been creating different applications using different cartridges, and um, now you've seen how some of these applications um, can be created uh, without. Um, too much effort and open shift uh, so now basically what I want to show you is um, a couple of stuff here uh, for instance um, you can add collaborators so let's say you have other users and you want them to use or create applications on your um, that is uh, using your 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 cartridges so of course you can see here where we have add a collaborator of course you can add members if you like to that uh, you can use your own domain name uh, so this is when you have a C name here and of course um, a whole lot more so um, what I want to do now uh, basically is uh, uh, let's say for instance you want to share your WordPress application with a collaborator right so basically you have people trying to kind of um, collaborate on your application and um, like we already mentioned you can do all this uh, um, you can do all this in the in the GUI um but one of the things you can also do uh, as well is on the settings tab all right so under the settings tab under the domain name you can see all the applications in the um, domain what we can do is you can see here we are allowed to use small gears and medium gears and you can see no members can um, no one else can see this domain of course so you can click on add users and you can give them different rights so when you say can view a user can only view this um, page and show you different things you can see read only access uh, if you click edit the user can add edit and control delete applications in the domain uh, using ssh and git access and when you say administer so everything except change allowed gear sizes and domain names so basically um they can do everything here so um yeah so you can pick a user so i have happen to have another user here so of course i can just allow him to edit and i can click save so it's validate that this user exists and if it does then it's going to go ahead and add him uh, anyway in this project so here you can see that openshift is the owner and then of course i have murphy one member added which can edit this um this application of course if you like you can remove you know you can go ahead and remove some certain users uh so uh anyway so once we've done that you can go ahead and save and we've removed one member anyway so that's um that's how you can go ahead and do that um now another thing you can do also if you notice from this part is uh, you can check out the logs of your application here using the rsc tail command and then you specify the name of your application so let's say we want to view the log files for our open MEP, meap application uh using the rsc command line tool you can just type rsc tail and then we specify the application using the dash a option and we tell it to go into the open MEAP uh, application for the OpenShift user and uh, in a moment it will go ahead and pull up the log files and you can see the log files you can see what's happening um this is the log files happening you can see um all the errors you can track all the traces you can see this is jboss.w error um so health check returned uh basically your health check is failing so but uh, just to give you an idea of uh, what the kind of uh, access is and um, what you can do to kind of correct some of the errors uh, that you find and of course you can use the control C to, um, to kind of terminate that uh, you can also check for instance the log files for your application so for instance you can check the one for um, WordPress so I say WordPress and we're going to do that for the OpenShift user and uh, momentarily we should have the log files for this and as you can see um, it's happening so you can see my SQL ready for connections you can see different uh, proxies um, you can see the InnoDB um, support for that uh, I mean you can see quite a lot of um, output uh, this is for PHP here uh, of course you can see for my sql and all that so openshift gives you the ability to really have powerful access into your applications running on um you know your your gears and um uh, one more thing you can also do um 
um, before we round up this video here um, um, is the ability to kind of SSH into your application so for instance um, we can go into the Laravel application for instance and under the reboot access um, section you can just uh, say um, uh, you want to get the SSH login for this uh, so you can go ahead and um, uh, let's clear the screen and I'm going to paste this and you can see um, without any ch changes here you can see that it went ahead and successfully um, kind of logged this into the gear for the Laravel application so you can list the contents uh, here you can play around with it uh, you can type help help will give you some list of commands so for instance you can just uh, do a tail all command and this will show all the log files that we saw earlier using the other um, that's using the other um, option for tailing the log files uh, using help you can do other stuff so for instance you want to get access to the mysql shell uh, so here you can see um, you can do that uh, so you can just um, interact with it like every other thing here so of course like for instance you can see view tables so in this case we don't have any tables yet so we can go ahead and create that if you want uh, so we can clear this and of course uh, you can see uh, if you have uh, the mongo cartridge installed you can check out mongo mongodb uh, you can check out the quota for the user so for instance you can see how much um, resources you are using and um, what's left and uh, you can type uh, uh, the export command and this will give you all the um, all the environment variables created for your OpenShift application. So, for instance, you can see that the OpenShift app DNS name is this. You can see the app name is Laravel. Uh, you can see my SSH keys, and this was what I was um, referring to earlier when I said that uh, the Laravel application has uh, was uh, is using the default or uh, uh, custom values for the database credentials. Uh, this is because if you check under this section here, you can see the OpenShift MySQL DB host. So if you use this environment variable, uh, it's going to substitute with the value. Uh, you can see the DB password. You can see the DB username here, uh, the connection URL, if you will. And of course, um, other values as well. You can see the cloud domain and, and all that. So hopefully you can see how powerful um, how powerful OpenShift can be and um, what it allows you to, to do. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the comments uh, form below and uh, we will discuss that. And um, hope you enjoyed this one too and I'll see you in the next bit.